And one of those people is Frank Santora. He's Grimaldi's, uh, of Grimaldi's Cold Brick Oven Pizzeria in New York City. Thanks for being here. How are you, Pete? Well, good All to right. see you again. What does this mean for you? What does this mean for businesses in you, the city? You know, it's just another brick on the load. How these politicians come up with these different ways to make it more and more difficult to do business, I really give them credit for their creativity. <laughs> they're trying really hard to crush Because you. they're going to get to zero emissions, because everybody's going to leave. And you won't have to worry about the ovens. You won't have to worry about the traffic, because nobody's going to be here. We're going to have COVID without the COVID. You know, I remember when the COVID happened and nobody was in the city. All oh, the environment was great. But we were out of business, mm -hmm. you know. So now they want to try to maybe duplicate the same thing with the, the different rules and regulations they come up with. That may help. but. To what cost? Well, I, I saw a stat. I can't remember the exact numbers, but it would take you know 500 coal, uh, you know, coal brick oven firing at all times to equal one year of private jet usage of John no, Kerry. No, one, one trip. One trip. One trip. Yeah. I mean, it's something absurd it, it, like it, that. It just—it's like trying to kill a, a mosquito with an elephant stepping on it. You know, it just doesn't make sense. But every day they come up with something why? new. What's the why? Can you give me a why? Do they really think the earth is going to end if you can't make a pizza? Or well, if you make a pizza? I think the United States does their very best to try to make things better. So the rest of the world doesn't want to comply. So we're fighting an uphill battle. And the pizza industry, we just try to make pizza. Try to make people happy. Try to make something taste good. You know, it, it smells good. But... I mean, they're going to have it to the point where you can't even make a pizza without. So you getting, can't uh, have your coal brick oven pizzeria, but China can build a new coal-fired power plant every two weeks. No, no, you're wrong. Every week. Every week. Every oh, week. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get the things. I got to get the stats yeah, right. Because they have so many people they got to feed and clothe and and take care of, and they don't care what happens to the environment. You know, over here we're trying to be responsible. You know, but we can only do. What we can do. <laughs> I bet you're responsible in your restaurants. You're oh, not... 100%. We keep it clean. We keep it nice. We keep it, you know, friendly. And so do all the other pizza owners, because that's how we were brought up to, to take care of how customers. How long can you take this? How long can other restaurants take all of these regulations piling on top? You know, I think people tend to forget that we're just coming out of COVID. We haven't recovered from the COVID situation. Tourists aren't flocking to New York like they, they were before the COVID. You know, normally on a Friday and Saturday, Sunday, we get people from all over the world come to our pizzeria because mm -hmm. we're right here in Manhattan. Yep. And we see less and less tourists, and it's affecting business because they don't want to come here. The hotels are full. Why are they full? Well, you know why they're full. They're full because of we have illegals. a lot of visitors that you know, hear from somewhere else, but they're not tourists. You know, so when tourists come here... They, they want to have a good time. They want to enjoy the New York. New York is the greatest city in the world. No, no, no question about that. There's nobody would doubt that. But when you come here, you want to come, you want to have fun. You want to go have something to eat. You want to go see a show. You want to go see Central Park. But the more and more rules and regulations, it makes it that much harder. There are, there are a lot of great cities in human history that used to be the greatest city in the yes, world. Yes, you're right. And you're it right. feels like the leaders here are trying to, to, to make it a po past tense. <laughs> You know, you know, I wonder where they come up with all these different things. Who thinks of these kinds it's, of regulations? It's like it's folks at Harvard and others with these yeah, terrible okay, ideas that have right. never actually run a business or never had a job in their life. Never had know. a job. But uh, uh, Frank Santora, thank you very much. All right, appreciate thank it. You. It's from all these. Check it out if you're here in New York City. Sixth Avenue at the Old Limelight Nightclub. There you go. All you right, know how to party too. Rachel, over to you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.